Sausage Creed Unity is taking us to Paris with friends. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games. I've got a question for you. Do you prefer the gameplay from Assassin's Creed Unity, the parkour centric gameplay we know and love from the Assassin's Creed franchise, or Assassin's Creed Rogue, where we are going to be returning to the high seas and doing some naval warfare once again? Let me know in the comments below what you prefer. We're talking about Assassin's Creed Unity today. Hey fellow Assassins, how's it going? It's Robbie with Open World Games and it has been extremely busy over here for Open World Gaming. Thank goodness I'm so thrilled to see all of these wonderful open world games coming out. We've got a ton of new AC footage for you today and a ton of new AC footage backlog on our channel plus Far Cry 4 and many other great open world games. So be sure to check it out if you haven't already. But today we're going to be talking about co-op heist missions, microtransactions, and skill trees. That's right, AC Unity is looking more and more like a respectable RPG day by day. So first up, IGN had some hands-on time with a second Gamescom demo which showed off cooperative heist missions. You can find the full article in the link below and if you don't want to do the reading, I will tell you about it. There will be a total of seven heist missions in the game and also 11 cooperative story missions. And the 11 cooperative story missions take about 30 to 40 minutes to complete each of them. So that's about 7 to 10 hours of gameplay just for the uh, story missions in co-op. I don't know the total time for the 7 heist missions, but I will let you know soon enough. With all things put together, it could take you over 100 hours to finish the game and see it all. Heist missions can be played alone, but guys, what fun is that? These missions are really supposed to be played with friends. Players can join seamlessly, and according to Yubi, heists are extremely replayable as everything is randomized, including enemies and even the level design. They will be changing the routes and cutting off paths and adding paths to the level design as you replay them, so that is really cool. Before you start a heist mission, you are first prompted to customize your character. You can customize your weapons, gear, and much more in several categories, including deadly, unseen, agile, and resilient. You can go in as a deadly and resilient character, for example, taking on the hordes of enemies in combat, which, by the way, combat is expected to be much, much tougher. So if you are wanting to do that, you're definitely going to want to upgrade your deadly and resilient attributes. But if you're into stealth, you can put your points into agile and resilient instead. It's really up to you how you want to play the game. So that's really good news. Loadouts can then be saved and then used for specific missions because some missions are going to be harder for stealth and then some missions will have more enemies for combat. So it does really encourage you to experiment with the skill tree and just have fun with the game. Now this is really cool, the last known mechanic from Splinter Cell is making its first appearance in Assassin's Creed which leaves a wireframe of Arno in the place where you were last seen. You can use this to distract guards and so much more. I really, really love this mechanic in Splinter Cell and I was thrilled that they are going to be putting this in AC Unity. Also AC Unity will be seeing microtransactions and you're probably really concerned about that. The Division is going to be doing the exact same thing. If you don't know about The Division, it is another UB title, but I wish they were not in the game at all, but from what I understand, you're paying for time. So if you're working or you're going to college, you're paying just to get the gear now. I personally think that is awful. I will never do that because it really ruins the experience. That is what Assassin's Creed Unity is all about, but you know, if someone wants to do that and they're supporting Ubisoft to develop more games, that's just another way to look at it positively. But, you know, there's a negative side to microtransactions and then a positive side. So you got to look at both sides. So there you guys have it. All of the details about Assassin's Creed Unity. These co-op missions, guys, sound awesome. And there is gameplay lurking out there. I will upload it to Open World Games. So subscribe right here on YouTube. Thanks guys for watching and look forward to more open world gaming goodness very soon. I will see you next time.